This video highlights the changes we have made to Mover Suite at version 2016-R25. In Mover Suite version 2016-R24, we introduced the ability to add documents to personnel records. These documents were visible to you through the local and long distance dispatch modules. In this release, we offer the ability to view and add documents to equipment resources and to account profiles. In Local Dispatch, we replaced the View Safety Information option with the View Equipment Information option available through a right-click menu. This new screen features the safety information as well as any documents associated to the resource. The documents are categorized by a document group. You also have access to the file name of the document, description, document type assigned to the resource, the name of the person that attached the document and when it was added to the system, along with when it was last modified by an administrator. And you can see any notes set for the document. The ability to add a document to the resource is also available to you. The ability to view the contents of the document are available through a right-click option. Choosing View Document opens the file in a separate window based on the type of document. The ability to view documents associated to an account profile is also available in this release. A new documents section lists within the account profile tab. As with the equipment documents, this listing provides you with file information categorized by document group and the ability to view the contents of a document through a right click option. One option that is not available within the accounts profile tab is the ability to add a document. Documents can only be added to the profile through the Admin tool. In the Admin tool, your company can define document groups for equipment, which includes setting the order in which you wish the documents to appear within the listing. You can also create types within each group. These document types are assigned to documents when they are added to the system. The description here is what is visible within Mover Suite. Equipment types can be marked as secure. This allows you to select which users can view and add a particular type of document, which is done through the Security for Equipment type setup. Add the employees that you wish to allow access to documents of the specified type. This list of employees includes all personnel. Under the Document Type Setup area, you also have the ability to inactivate a type as well. This removes it from being available for assignment to newly added document. Administrators can add and modify documents through the Equipment Setup. For documents associated to an account profile, you have the same ability to define groups and create document types based on each group. There is no ability to create secure documents for account profiles, however. We felt that it was not necessary to add security to documents on account profiles. Documents are added and edited through the Documents tab under the Account Profile Setup. Refer to the Equipment Documents and Account Profile Documents topics within our online help for more information on these new features. Those of you that take advantage of our job costing system will be happy to know that we now offer the ability to view the rated amounts of items associated to equipment, labor, and material expenses. A new Rated Amount column is visible within the Job Costing screen. The Rated Amount is the dollar amount based on the item code associated to the rate plan on the order for each expense item within each expense category. For example, a packing item associated to a material expense may tie to a rate of $11.20 per item. If there are 10 such items on the move, then $112 is what is ultimately billed to the customer. On the setup side, the material record shows an item code of 21102. Over on the rate plan, you can see where the rate is pulled from. The rate plan, which in this case is local, must be set on the order to pull in the rate. You can find the rate plan setting on the Billing Information tab. Back on the Job Costing screen, you can compare the rated amount to the cost and determine which items are the most profitable and compare the total amount of rated expenses to the anticipated total revenue of the move. 
Equipment expenses work the same way as material expenses. The rated amount for labor expense is based on the item code associated to the labor type of personnel on the move. The item code of the labor type must also belong to the rate plan set on the order. For labor items, the application can reference the overtime and double time rates. To determine which rate to use, you can set up a rate schedule. The new rate schedule for labor setup allows you to define which days of the week and which times of the day the rate is in effect. In the default schedule provided to you, an overtime rate applies to work performed from midnight to 7 a.m. Then from 7 to 5 p.m., the service work is at a regular rate. You can modify this schedule as needed. For example, you can add a double time block for any work performed after 6 p.m. Options for a rate type include double time rate, regular rate, and overtime rate. Each of these types reference a corresponding rate within the rate plan. In addition to the default schedule, you can create your own rate schedule and link them to a branch or account profile. This allows you to link a unique rate schedule to different branch segments of your operation or to different accounts that work with your company. Assign the rate schedule to a branch through the branch setup. And likewise, assign a rate schedule to profiles through the account profile setup. Job costing evaluates dates in three distinct phases. There is a planning phase in which the dates assigned to a local service are referenced. A dispatch phase where service times set by a dispatcher usurp the dates originally assigned to the service and an actual phase of job costing, where the actual dates entered for the service are referenced to determine the effective date of the rate. Please refer to the job costing and job costing rating topics in your online help for more information. Additional changes were made that affect this release, so please read up on these changes in the online help for version 2016 R25. Thank you.